Well, Coach, I, I can kind of overhear the juice, but just talking about DT and KT today getting it. Yeah, there's no question. I think DT Sheffield has been a really bright spot in our offense. I mean, who's going to pick up that slack in the slot? He's done a good job making some big explosive plays, and today we finally see him do some things with the ball in his hands and making people miss. And Kyle Thornton is one of our most consistent, tough, smart, hardworking players. And, uh, you know, Yogi Roth got a special one at the end there, too, for come speaking to the team last night. I have to ask, R.J. Stone, Esapole, who's louder? Ooh, it's a good – I don't think there's anyone in the world louder than R.J. I mean, I don't even know if that's a, that's a deal, but the big man, Essa, he's got some moves. He can dance a little bit. He's got some good energy to him, so it's been fun to watch those guys really battle. Where do you kind of see some of the main position battles now going into, you know, not, not another scrimmage, but your third week of camp or third week of spring? Where are you kind of seeing the biggest battles kind of unfolding right now? Yeah, I mean, the best part today was by far our most physical day. I think you felt it. We did a pass under pressure. We did a third down competition. We did 40 minutes of live at the end. You know, just excited to see some of that play come out. Um, but for right now, I mean, it's every position at wide receiver, inside and outside. I love where our tight end's at. I think it's been a really good, consistent position. You know, who's going to be that left tackle? What are we going to do with Christian? I mean, there's some things to figure out there. And then the linebackers, you know, I think that's going to go a long way into figuring out where we want to be. I think Dev Richardson's been consistent. I think Huddy, you know, just watching some of this tape, had a big explosive tackle and can really run and move, and his confidence is growing. Um, and then Nickel, you know, to me, you know, we need to start working in that direction between Chris and Capenna and Jackson. I mean, that thing will go a long way, but these guys are working their tail off. And I think Capenna is finally starting to feel comfortable. You see him making some explosive live tackles, some good coverage reps, and, you know, he needs to keep getting better as we go through our camp. But I, I, I'll. I really am today where I was when we started. There's competition everywhere, and there's going to be less spots really. You know, spring, you're, you're competing and winning those jobs, but those jobs will be won in the fall, so we got a long way to go to get there. Obviously, you didn't talk to you Tuesday, but when you went back and watched some of the tape on, on, the, on the scrimmage, was there anyone who kind of stood out to you that maybe you didn't mention Saturday, anyone who really made a few plays that kind of you didn't see live but saw on the tape? Well, I think uh, Christy um, has been pretty good at the offensive line. He's been very consistent. He's not flashy, but I think he's tough and physical. You know, so I think his presence in the inside of our interior line has been really, really good. You know, Carlos Hernandez continues to just take strides for a freshman. You know, and like I said, I he's not just going to be competing. He's going to be competing to be playing a ton of minutes. You know, so excited about what he's doing. And uh, I mentioned it on Saturday, but when you really watch the tape, Cooper Mathers – he's finally healthy like fall camp he had all these injury issues and we're kind of working through things where Coop is finally to the point where he's playing really really good football and that's you know for us exciting to see and then I think on defense Cam Lampkin you know I think Cam continues to play really good coverage football I think the game has slowed down for him um, and excited about his his journey and his growth lately you have me named three to five newcomers who, who you know, through two and a half weeks have really jumped out on the tape or maybe we're, we're fast risers over the last two and a half weeks? Well, I mean, it, it's some of the guys we mentioned, I mean, DT, uh, Carlos, but I think Josh Kelly, you know, is another one that's, that's brought a lot of consistency to our outside wide, wide receiver play. And Josh, I think he, he can take it down the field, but his intermediate route running, his power game, his possession receiver game, going to need him a lot in the red zone. Javinsky Slembaker, you know, I think a guy off of the scrimmage tape, um, it really was physical and ran well. And I think it's, he's learning how he needs to play to be really successful. You know, and that's exciting, you know, for us and as a coach. Um, I'm trying to think defensively, Javen Robinson continues to do really well. Like I said, Ahmad, you know, it has those really flashes of brilliance. We just got to keep working through his consistency, but his athleticism shows, his blitzing ability and his pass coverage is really standing out. So we need to continue to grow all those guys. And like I said, I. I love where this team's at. I mean, it was a physical, hard day. And these guys took it to task. Saturday's going to be a little bit lighter. We're going to be back in helmets. Um, but everything we give them, these guys go out there and they play their tails off. And they're, they're competing in iron, sharp and iron right now. How does the tight end's uh, kind of responsibilities change from, from last year into to this new offense? Well, I think the biggest thing is let's leave them on the field. You know, they can flex out. I think last year we were worried about ever having them in space. But when you have 11 on the field and you can be in empty, you can be in your split sets, you can be in, you know, some physical football sets, I think it just gives you a lot of different 
wrinkles that we're using right now. You know, so those guys got to earn that. You know, I think uh, Billy's showing that he can play out in space. Cam Johnson's very natural out there. And obviously Coop and, and then Andre Dollar's coming into his own. So I just think it's a confidence that Coach Arbuckle has in our tight ends and how versatile they can be. And then allowing them to go show that they can do it. I think it's been a big... Um, just point of emphasis as we've gone throughout the spring, and, and those guys have responded really well. Obviously, we heard you at the end there talking about the, they only get six opportunities to play here in this stadium. Obviously not playing towards an actual game this spring, but towards the spring game in a couple of weeks. But how do you guys, uh, how do you keep these guys motivated uh, in the spring games? Well, I think the biggest thing is why not? You know, where's your focus at? What do you want to achieve? You know, so it isn't about just getting out here and making time pass. Good catch. <laughs> that could have been a bad deal there. Um, you just can't make the time pass by. You got to make the time count. And I think we got a driven team. I think we got a young team. I think we got a lot of guys through competition that know they got to come each and every day and go earn a spot. Right. And when you do that, it's a coach's dream. You know, so to be out here and watch all the competitive you know, battles happen, I, I think guys generally love being out here playing ball. These guys love ball. You know, so my message today was just to understand the hard work doesn't go unnoticed, right? When Kook fans show up and they pack this stadium, they love you, right? They want you to be successful too, right? So when you're working in the dark and you're in, you know, 30 degrees and it feels like 22 this morning and the wind's blowing, but when that horn goes off, it's time to answer the bell. Right, so there's a chip on the shoulder and there's a blue collar mentality, but I love how we finished today in the stadium. It just brought that energy and those vibes back. 